I want to talk a little bit about the ingredients of songwriting and what structures and processes actually need to be in place in order for us to properly write a song. And I know a lot of people, they have a very specific structure when they sit down to write lyrics, chords, and melodies, and they always do it in the same order. But for me, it's never been that way. And we always try to go in this linear fashion. We're going to do it the same exact way every time. And I actually used to write like that. I'd sit there with a notebook in high school and, and I'd write out this, almost like a poem. You know, dun da dun da dun da dun dun da dun da dun da dun I'd make it rhyme. It'd have good meter, have good structure. And then I would sit down with my guitar. Okay, I'm going to play this song. It's going to be in the key of C. I'm going to play these chords. I'm going to shove these lyrics that I just wrote into these chords. i got to make up a melody. And it always seemed so fabricated. And you could actually tell because once the song was completed, it sounded artificial. And so rather than focusing on the process, what I'd like you guys to focus on a little bit more, there is a process, but what I'd like you to focus on a little bit more are the ingredients. We'll say the ingredients of songwriting. And similar to when you're baking something, you have all the ingredients and there are certain things that need to be mixed together at certain times. But if you put the sugar in before the salt, most of the time, it's not going to be the end of the world. Certain things, yeah, I mean, there has to be basic structure depending on what you're making, what you're baking. But for the most part, you can mix the butter and the eggs and all the, it just, it, some of those things, it doesn't matter if they come first or second. And that's kind of what I want to get at. So you get all these different ingredients and rather than it being linear, A, B, C, one, two, three, this is the order you got to do it. It actually becomes more like a web and more just like ingredients to one thing. I wanted to take a second to actually give you guys an example of what I just talked about uh, with lyrics, chords, melodies, the ingredients of songwriting and focus on those. Uh, the application being to practice each ingredient individually and then you can combine them fluidly when you're under inspiration. So there is a season in your life where you might just be writing a lot and journaling a lot and doing poetry a lot. Then there might be a season where you're just jamming instrumentally a lot. Then there might be seasons where in the shower you keep getting these melodies in your head. Just practice each of those ingredients. But then when you're inspired in those moments, capture them and, and combine them and it'll be fluid. Because there's times I've sat there and I've tried to force them to be combined and I've sat there for two hours and nothing happens. And then there's other times where in five minutes I have the, a full song and my wife's like, how the heck did you do that? It's because I had the ingredients, but I just waited for the right time. Don't force it. Uh, so I wanted just to give an example of that. The most recent song I wrote, I sat down and I had actually a guitar riff in my mind, which doesn't happen that often. Usually it's a melody or usually it's chords, but I actually had that little that in my mind I knew the key I knew I could see it in my fingers because once you start playing you you start to know those things more and I sat down and I played it and that just led me right into the first verse which is joy is never found in all your expectations I knew I wanted to be low palm muted and peace is never found in all your reservations and naturally, at this point in the song, organically, I'm like, I want it to lift. I want to do something different with the melody there. I want it to lift. I want. So this melody was written on the spot after writing those first two refrains. And the lyrics are being actually written on the spot. The only thing I had planned was the little riff I just played. So then the, I created the lift, which was... Um, Hope is only found in my salvation. Just two chords. Love is still the answer for this weary nation. I wanted to go to a pre course. So come, Lord Jesus, come and set the captives free. And come, Lord. See how it's building? That's the rhythm thing. Because I'm a drummer, so. Chorus. You are my joy, 
you are my joy it's a little more open when everything's faded you are my peace you are my peace when my soul is jaded and i knew i wanted those to rhyme i'm more of a i do more of a strict rhyming thing because i'm a little more radio cheesy than a lot of people but i like it because people like it um, you are my hope you are my love you are everything and like already i'm sitting there in my basement and i'm playing all this it's just coming and i can already picture the drums and i can already picture you know the electric guitar and those are things you got to have down before you get into the studio Can someone tell me what is real? All I 